Okay, this is the guts of the mouse. The mouse button is here. I can push it and I get firing. The fastest I can push it is about that, but it's not very reliable. Man, it's very difficult to do, especially when the mouse is open. But you know about how fast that you can go uh, without it. So my goal is to use the power going to the optical mouse from the USB port to add a small microcontroller which when I push a button can rapidly fire by pressing this button over and over and I can push it again to turn it off and that's what I'm going to try, we'll see how it goes okay here is the working prototype the ATtiny25 microchip is there I wrote code on the computer which I can build and then I'll take it over here and program the microchip and it is programmed, ready to go uh, this is the button which simulates the rapid fire button on the mouse. When I push it, the light turns on and it appears steady, but it's a little bit deceptive. It's actually firing, turning on and off very rapidly. And we can illustrate this by watching its output on an oscilloscope. So I will clip on there and you can see as I push the button, it turns on and off. On the oscilloscope, we can graph it with respect to time. It's somewhat like a voltmeter, but you can actually see a, a graph of it. When I push the button, it looks like two bars, right? That's because if we speed it up, you can see it's actually turning on and off very, very quickly. I'll make it a little bit faster. They are square waves. It is turning on and off, or pushing the fire button, exactly 50 times every second. And I've configured it such that when I push the button and release, it will stay on for five seconds. So it should fire 250 times over 5 seconds. So we'll see how it works once we put it in the mouse. Here's one more demonstration showing. I push it and it should stay on for approximately 5 seconds. That should be able to empty out pretty much any handgun in the game I intend to play. Okay, I found a bit of a problem here when it shows the delay between the button down and button up, I had it as 1 50th of a second. It turns out it was too fast to accurately fire the mouse. I had to decrease it so it only fires 25 times a second, but that's still good. You can see when I push the button, the oscilloscope will start to go nuts, and more importantly, the monitor will start to go nuts. This thing will fire continuously as fast as it can possibly fire until it's done. Okay, let's see this in action. I've got the mouse here. Uh, check out that mouse pad. Very masculine. Um, the button's ready to go. I'll put it on dualies so you can see when I push the button. Uh, bad example. Let's wait for a guy to come around. And he's not going to come. I'll just show you. Push it, and these things go crazy. Look how fast those the guys emptied out. I'm going to do it one more time so you can watch the, uh, watch the ammo down here on the bottom right. That's uh, crazy. Alright, well hey, good luck. And uh, looks like I lagged a bit there. But hopefully it'll work well for you.